Can tablet be also your second PC monitor? Of course it can. Come on, I will show you how to do this. Hi guys, in today's video I will show you how to connect your tablet to the PC and make it become a second monitor. This solution should work on every Android device, also a smartphone. I will use a Mate Pad 11 with Harmony OS 2.0. Firstly, you have to open the web browser and enter the spacedesk.net, link will be in the description. Now click download or scroll down and choose suitable software for your OS. I have Windows 11 but I will download Windows 10 version cause it basically won't do any difference. Now we have to just download the app, go through the setup wizard and agree to everything. Next, 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 ha ha ha. After this just click the install. Screen can go black for a while cause the program will create a virtual graphics card which will take care about our second monitor. Installation should take only a while cause it is a small program. After waiting just click the finish button to end up the installation process. You don't have to launch the program cause it work in the background, but as you can see it is installed, I hide it cause the privacy. Now it is a time to switch from the PC to mobile device like phone or a tablet. We have to basically do exact same steps. As you can see Space Desk is available on Google Play but is not in App Gallery that's why I'm downloading it from the App Pure website, link also in the description. Just download and install it on your device. After this launch the application. Remember, that devices you would like to connect have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. If you did everything correctly and previously installed Space Desk on your PC then you should see your computer in the mobile app. Now to connect these devices, just click it. Wait a while and after a few seconds the PC desktop should appear on your mobile device. I have also added the PC view so you can actually see how it is working. And I guess we can agree that it works pretty well and is very impressive. The quality isn't the best now but we can adjust it in Space Desk settings, which I will show you later and also in the Windows settings cause system see our tablet is a real second monitor. Now there is low resolution and 30Hz refresh rate but remember that we cannot set it to 4K and 120Hz cause we will met some problems with the performance. You have to find the best settings for you. Here I changed the resolution on the tablet to the native of the screen and scaled UI to 200% cause everything was too small. You can do this in Windows screen settings. It is important to remind that you, second monitor, still is also a tablet with a touch screen. You can control it in both ways, with a mouse and with your hand. Bluetooth connected devices also are still connected to your tablet and they work. Here I type on both PC keyboard and tablet keyboard. As you can see both of them work which is great and so comfortable. I mentioned that your phone or tablet, even when used as a PC monitor, still can be used as a phone or tablet. You have access to the other applications, background applications, you can open control panel, check your notifications, and go back to the monitor mode which is insane and I love it. Now let's take a quick look at the Space Desk settings. What can we adjust here? First tab is resolution where we can choose if our second screen should use its native resolution or custom one. I personally use the native cause it looks the best on this device. Under this we have auto rotation. I didn't change it cause my tablet stays in one position. The most important tab is quality slash performance. Here we can adjust the image quality with the slider. I really recommend to set it about the middle. Do not go lower than this and check if it is still fluid if you go higher. Other options are not that important for me, that's why I only changed the FPS rate to 60, and left rest of them default. The last tab is connection, where you can enable automatic reconnection between your devices. I personally did not change anything here. Thanks for watching. Hope my tutorial was useful for you. See you next time, bye.